This course is for SIMS module lesson monitor. It's called Taking the Register and it's intended for teachers who will be using SIMS to take their register for the lesson or for AM, PM and during the day. For this course we'll be using the uh, quick reference sheet entitled Lesson Monitor, accessing the register and entering marks. Now you should have a copy of that in front of you. If not, you can access it from within SIMS from the documentation tab on the SIMS homepage. If you quite simply click on the documentation button, it will bring up the documentation center under which will be the, ref, uh, the quick reference sheets. Clicking on quick reference sheets, you'll aim for the attendance category and in there you'll find the attendance editing attendance marks quick reference sheet, which is the one that we'll use for this session. For this session, we'll be using the uh, SIMS training data set uh, of, for Green Abbey School, which is the secondary school. But uh, you could follow on with your own data if you want to. It's uh, not compulsory, but uh, it gives you a better experience if you follow the actual training data itself. Now, in terms of the course content, we'll be looking at the following. How to access the register via the focus menu and the home page, the two main methods that you use. We'll have a look at adding additional information columns, how to enter lesson registration marks themselves, recording minutes late and comments, viewing student photographs, recording behaviour incidents and achievements, and then editing historical and future marks. To get started then, let's log into the SIMS training data set um, as uh, so to get started then, let's log into the SIMS training data set as the username black A with the password ABCD. That should take us into SIMS as a user who is a class teacher. So we'll have some classes to take the register for. Or if you're using your own data set, just log in as yourselves. So once we're logged into SIMS, where we encounter the SIMS homepage, and let's have a look at the two main methods then of taking the register. The first one is either using the focus menu whereby you go to focus, lesson monitor and take register. Or similarly you can make use of the toolbar button here, take register there. By clicking on that or going through the menu item will take you to the same place. If we click on that button, that will then take us into a screen whereby we see our name on the screen, the current date, and we'll see our register for today and the classes that we're timetable for that we can take the register for. To take the register for that class, it's simply a case of double clicking on the appropriate cell and that'll open up the data entry screen for us. If you want to take the register for a different teacher or for a different date, say for example you're covering a class, you may need to make use of the browser here using the binoculars. And what you want to do is click on that, search for the lesson or for the teacher that you're covering for, select it and click OK. And that will actually then change the screen so you can see the register for that teacher that you're covering for. The second option for accessing the register is doing it via the home page. You can see that uh, there's a timeline on the home page with all of the scheduled classes on it. To access the register from here, it's a simple case of double clicking or if you right click on the actual class itself, it brings you up some menu items with some different options. We're going to choose take register here, but there are different options for you if you'd like to choose them. Just by selecting take register, that takes me immediately into the register entry screen. So you can see here immediately then that the appropriate class is listed on the screen for us, in this case 9x1 Geography with Mr A Blacker. 
and the column that we need to put the register into Thursday period 4 is already open for us. On the left hand side we can see all of the students names and we can see their registration group. What we can also do on this screen to make sure that you've identified the correct students or look at some additional information for them. If you right click on the cell in the corner which is labelled name it allows you to bring up additional identification columns just to make doubly sure we've got the correct students or we can identify anything more about them. You could for example bring up the gender field, maybe the uh, special educational needs field as well to identify whether any students have any special educational needs that you need to be aware of in this class and even the behaviour instance as well. If you chose behaviour today that would show any behaviour instance that had occurred during the day so far. Something to be aware of here is that there are only a limited number of fields available to display on the screen. Uh, they should be the most important fields that you need and uh, you may find that actually when you come to use your live database they may be less listed than this because they can be restricted under the tools menu. So let's then look at how to actually enter a mark into the register. And there are a couple of ways of doing this as well. I'm referring now to the uh, section on the first page of the document, entering lesson registration marks. First of all, you can actually enter a mark using the keyboard. If you know what the uh, registration marks are, you can actually just type them in using the keyboard like so. The alternative is, is to make use of the mouse by right clicking and choosing the option for display codes, which will show you all of the available codes within the system. Or you can make use of the codes button on the toolbar. So this will display all of the codes that are available for you to actually <clears throat> type into the attendance screen. What you can actually do is you can actually double click on the codes from this screen as well to put them in if you prefer to use the mouse. Can you see as I'm double clicking on those it's actually putting those marks in for me in the background. So how you type the codes in is entirely up to you. You've got a few different options there. Now, when you're entering the register, in most cases in classes, all or the majority of students are in the class and there's usually just a couple of students missing. To make it simpler for you, what you're able to do is if you click on the column header, it actually highlights the whole column for you. And from there, if you click on the present mark, which is a forward or backslash, you see that actually completes the whole column for you just in one go. And it's a simple job then just to go and mark which students are late or ill or absent for whatever any reason. If you want to, you can move at any time and go and alter a code again if you've made a mistake. It'll allow you to overwrite. And when you've completed entering in the codes that you need to, you click the save button and that will actually save the codes into the database for you. Now at that point that actually locks the code so that you can no longer over type them. If you need to be able to edit them again you'll need to unlock the padlock, the button that's labelled preserve. Once you click on that it moves to overwrite and that will then allow you to over type the codes. And then once you hit the save button again, <clears throat> that will again lock the codes for you. So that's that button there, overwrite and preserve. So when it's highlighted as preserve, you can't overwrite any of the codes. When it's labeled as overwrite, you can overwrite them and then save again. Something else that may occur from time to time is you may have an additional student in the class that you need to take the register for. And of course, at the moment, it's only the students that are usually in 9x1 geography that are listed in this screen. 
but if you want to add an additional student to the class just for this registration period you can make use of the extra name button. If you click on that you're able to go and search through the database for another student, highlight them and click OK and that will add that student to the class just for this lesson only so that you can actually take the register for them. And you'll see there that that student's appeared down the very bottom of the screen here. Something that's a very useful feature when you're starting a new school year or you're covering a class is the ability to be able to look at the class photographs. By using the class photo button on the toolbar, you can see a list of photographs of all of the students that are in that registration class. And that's a printable list as well. If you click the print button, that'll print out that screen for you. You can also see the individual photographs as you're taking the register by making use of the button on the links menu labeled photo. If you click on the photo button, that will bring up one photograph for you at a time. And as you move through taking the register for each student, it changes the photograph for you. So it's very helpful when you're covering a class or you're new to the school or new to that uh, class and it's a new year. So you can make sure that you've got the correct students in your class. So you've had a look at some of the options and some of the uh, different codes that you can enter in for the students for the register. But for every mark that you enter in, you're able to add some comments. And more often than not, that happens when <clears throat> a child is late for school. So for example, if this child was late, I'm going to put in L as the late code for them. But what I'm able to do is I'm able to make use of the comments button, or I can actually right click and choose enter comments from the menu, and perhaps record some uh, circumstances why they were perhaps late for school. Maybe they missed the bus. What I can also do as well is I can, particularly with the late register, I can record the number of minutes late that a child was for school. So say, for example, they were five minutes late for register. That can be recorded there. <clears throat> what you'll notice as well is when there's a comment and a minutes late mark recorded into that cell, the cell changes color. There's a little red triangle which identifies the fact that there's a comment in that cell. And if there's a minutes late recorded into that cell, the cell itself turns blue. So you can identify that straight away. And can you see by hovering over that uh, cell, it brings me up a little screen, a little menu item showing me the comments behind five minutes late and miss the bus. And just so that you know, this information is uh, reportable as well. There are reports within the attendance and lesson monitor menus where you can actually do a global report on all of the students' uh, comments, all of their lateness, uh, globally or individually. The last few additional features in this screen are the ability to be able to record behaviour incidents and achievements just by a simple right click. So if there is, for example, a behaviour incident in the class, what you're able to do is you're able to hover over the child's name with the mouse, right click, and from the menu, we can choose add behavior and we can choose a behavior instant to record. For example, Jackie may have come in not equipped for lesson. I can right click, choose not equipped for lesson, click on the menu item, and that automatically puts in a behavior instant for Jackie into the database. You can do the same thing with achievements. If you wanted to give William a merit point for today, you can right click on there, choose add achievement and apply a merit point to him. And that puts that automatically into the database for you as well. Now, as well as doing that individually, you can do it for groups. <clears throat> you can either hold down control on the keyboard and highlight multiple children. 
let go of the control button, right click with the mouse and add achievement and recall whichever achievement it is that you'd like to. Now you can see that'll apply that to multiple children. Or if you wanted to do it for the whole class, you wanted to give the whole class a merit point, you can make use of the shift button. Hold down shift, go down to the last student in the list that you want to record a achievement or behavior record for. Once that's done, right click. And there we are, it'll put in a merit point for all of those children in one go. And once I've saved those entries, what you'll notice is in the behavior today column now, there's one point shown against Jackie Abrahams. That's the behavior today. So that's appearing on her behavior instance uh, record straight away. If I want to, I can add the achievement today column as well, just so you can see that the information is live. And all of those students that I added behavior and achievement instance for earlier on are all displaying that information straight away. Just to elaborate a little bit further about the behavior and achievement instant recording, as well as being able to right click and adding a behavior or achievement instant in or homework even, you can make use of the links button on the right hand side of the screen and that will take you into the full behavior instance screen where you can record quite a lot of detailed information about the incident that happened. All the extenuating circumstances, comments, notes and so on. All of that is covered in a different session but just so you know that that's there and that's available. Okay, once uh, <clears throat> your register has been entered, quite simply all you need to do now is just to make use of the close button and that will take you back to your home page again and that's your register done. If you need to go back and take some, uh, take a register for a historical session or a future session, just remember that you can make use of the take register button and you can change the date on the screen here, back or forward, a day or a number of days, to go back and, uh, or go forward and put in a register for a future class or a previous class. So if in this example, I know that all of my class are going to be out on a field trip tomorrow, I can go forward to Friday period two, I can go through and I can pick up the code for educated off-site, fill that in and save it and that's my register taken for tomorrow's class. So that's the end of our lesson monitor session taking the register. Further information please be sure to take a look at our website at www.edu365group.com